great start by Shaky Byrne on pole position. No one was going to get the better of him this time. Uh, Yuichi Kianari went with him early on, while the rest of the guys were left to battle for the points. Josh Brooks initially threw into third place. James, James Ellison making big progress from row five early on. But then uh, slightly messy at the hairpin, particularly when James Westland torpedoed the luckless Barry Ball into oblivion. And uh, the BMW and the Kawasaki were well and truly out of the race, fortunately, without any injury. Shaky Byrne at the front, Kianari second, Chris Walker makes a big, strong early move on Stuart Easton, which, as he said, after the race was vital for his chances of getting back on the podium. Uh, he was being chased down by both Josh Brooks and Easton, and at that time, Tommy Bridewell also in the mix, but uh, feeling fairly battered and bruised after his big crash this, uh, yesterday. And then uh, this big move at two-thirds race distance by Kianari, surging through on the inside, perfect pass into the hairpin, and it looked as if Keo might really be able to do the double for both base BMW. But in the end, it turned out to be just a slight case of dream on because he, uh, Reggie had this big mistake. Something happened at the hairpin. We think he might have missed a gear. Something went wrong. He shook his head, but he took up the pursuit again. He wasn't going to be beaten. And he came back towards Shaky and that made that attempt as they went through the chicane on the final lap. Couldn't get close enough into the hairpin. Shaky then had things under control, and the BMW, a match for the Kawasaki up the hill, but not able to get past. Shaky Byrne takes his 57th British Superbike race win and is congratulated by his fellow three-time champion. So once again, Shaky Byrne takes a victory at every round so far.